क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव आउटपुट रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ ए डायोड क्लिपर सर्क्यूट शोन इन द फिगर विल बी इट इज क्लियरली गिवन दैट द गिवन सर्क्यूट इज ए क्लिपर सर्क्यूट सो एनी क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन क्लिपर सर्क्यूट यू कैन सॉल्व इफ यू कैन लिजन माई वीडियो लेक्चर फॉर टू टू थ्री मिनट्स सो आई विल टेल यू अ टेक्निक बाई विच यू कैन सॉल्व एनी काइंड ऑफ क्लिपर सर्क्यूट इज गिवन इन द एग्जाम यू कैन सॉल्व इजीली सो लेट अस लर्न दैट शॉर्टकट टेक्निक फाइन so let us see what is clipper circuit what does it does what are the steps to identify how to clip that clipping is nothing but just like clip clip you will use to uh, clip your papers or clothes or whatever you will do right so same kind we need to clip means cut down clipping is nothing but slicing slicing cutting down okay it's like slice slicing fine now let us see what we need to do in order to find the clipper circuit fine what he will give is first of all he will give a circuit he will give an input and he will ask an output okay he will give a circuit circuit will be given to you an input waveform will be given to you and he will be asking an output waveform fine now here you may not you may think like input is not given okay let us keep that point aside first let me explain you how to do this circuit fine now what you know what you need to do is step 1 draw the given input waveform in dotted form so he'll give an input waveform please draw in a dotted form suppose if you give sine then what you need to do is you need to draw that sine wave input wave in dotted fashion something like this now he will give a reference voltage he will give the reference voltage in the circuit draw the reference voltage levels in dotted form so here vb is given this is called a reference voltage reference voltage this reference voltage you need to plot on the graph so vb is given now vb assume it is positive because it is positive see you can see the positive comes first then negative positive negative so it is positive vb okay so vb is positive so assume that it is some volts we don't know then draw that line on that graph positive right right fine this is voltage this is time axis so you draw a reference voltage on this dotted waveform plot on the same plot now you check the circuit okay i'll explain you here down you, it is clearly given see just look at this circuit just look at this circuit this circuit okay here you can see this is the given circuit first what i did is i have drawn the input waveform this is voltage input voltage in a dotted line sine wave i have drawn it is not given but i have drawn okay i'll explain you that at the end input i am assuming it as sinusoid i have drawn in a dotted fashion okay you can draw as many cycles as you want just i have drawn three three sub cycles okay first cycle second cycle this third sub cycle okay three peak i mean peaks i have drawn fine now what i did is vb it is positive it is clearly given if positive comes first see this is a positive voltage don't think it as a negative so that reference voltage vb i don't know i have marked as continuous straight line which is parallel to t axis time axis i have drawn a straight line horizontal line now this is a positive reference voltage this is the reference voltage fine reference voltage now after that see what is happening is this input sine wave is clipping somewhere it it will get clip means it will get it will get uh, it will not be continuous it gets clipped somewhere where it will clip we need to find now you can find that easily from the circuit just look at this diode okay here indicate n and p on this diode this is n you already know this is p you already know if n is directly connected to this positive of this v not if n is connected to positive of the v not or if it is connected to v not because this will assume this has ground yes or no so if it is connected to v not or positive of v not n is connected then clip the negative part part negative part below the reference level so what i am saying is you need to clip this this part you need to clip this second part this you need to clip off so after clipping off what you are going to get is the output waveform see v not i'll draw v not will be it will be something see you draw the total wave first of all this is the reference voltage below the reference voltage you need to clip off because if n is connected to v not you need to clip the negative part okay so what you will have is only this positive peaks positive peaks you will have i hope this is clear 
so clip off the negative part because n type is connected to output this is a shortcut technique this is not a concept explanation so this is the output waveform now what you can do is you can simply choose the answer and you can if you want you can remove this this parts this part you can remove sorry yeah one second yeah this is the output waveform so you can see the negative part got clipped so let us see the rules once again draw the input waveform in dotted form draw the reference voltage in the dotted form i already told you if p type of the diode is connected to output voltage then there should not be a positive peak positive peak should be clipped off then such type of circuit is called positive clipper circuit in exam he'll give a circuit and he'll ask whether it is a positive clipper circuit or negative clipper circuit if p type is directly connected to output then simply conclude it as a positive clipper circuit if suppose n type as we have seen in the example if n type is connected to output voltage then there should not be any negative peak in the output then such type of circuit is called negative clipper circuit so whichever connects to the output that should not be there that's a simple shortcut technique so in this way you can find the output of the given circuit now let us see the options see it is clearly given in the dotted lines the sinusoidal wave so it means that it means that the input is a sinusoid he has not specifically given it's a sinusoid the dotted lines indicates the input is a sinusoid so let me draw input sinusoid i'm drawing one 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 cycle then put your reference voltage okay one more also i'll draw okay fine now see you can see n is connected to output so clip of the negative part only positive part will be there so there are so one second so this is the output because i'm clipping the negative part right what is this this is the reference voltage this is origin fine you can see the options option a and b can be the right choice but you need to see some observations okay a and b some people will directly put option c as right choice but it is incorrect none of the above is also incorrect i'll explain you the right choice is option a it's not option b why i'll explain because both are looking alike the only difference is he is telling clearly that this dotted waveform is input he is cl clearly telling that this dotted waveform is vi minus vb v input minus reference voltage is telling which is absolutely wrong that is one point and remain except that a and b options are same yes or no a and b options are same except that thing so option a is correct and many people are asking me that this is vr and this is origin but here it is given in a reverse way that sorry reference is vb right sorry vb vb is sorry this is vb this is origin but here it is given in reverse way even for this also given in reverse way hence they are choosing the option as none of the above that is incorrect once again because the width the distance or the width the gap between this and this level is nothing but what is this difference vb because vb minus zero is vb here again the difference between these two is also vb yes or no the difference is once again vb so it's he want to indicate that just the gap between these two is vb it doesn't want to say that the upper one is zero vb and lower one is vb and he, he doesn't mean that he he want to mean one thing that the gap between this point to this point is vb so here also it is vb so if it is matching then mark it okay so the right choice is option a okay i hope you understood clipper circuit so try to memorize this steps how i have done now let us see the extension sometimes he'll be asking what are the transfer characteristics he's asking what are the transfer characteristics for this what you need to do is you need to take two axes on x axis you need to take vi means input waveform on y axis you need to take output waveform so how to draw the transfer characteristics after getting output output waveform right you might have having such kind of a doubt i'll explain you very in a simple way now what you need to do is if the reference voltage is positive see here vb is positive yes or no if vb is positive first you mark v0 and vi axis first you open axis something like this open it is v0 sorry it is vi and this is v0 then what you do is next step 
you mark on y axis vb if it is 5 volts mark 5 5 uh, the line 5 okay if it is again you mark the same vb on x axis okay again you mark vb on x axis on x axis y axis both the lines you need to mark whereas in finding output voltage we used to mark only on y axis right so but here you need to, for transfer characteristics you need to mark vb on both x axis and y axis as it is positive uh, on x axis on the right side uh, as it is positive on y axis it is on the top not on the bottom after marking this you will get an intersection point correct so next what you need to do is it's simple once again just look at the output waveform what it is saying is if the input if the input is greater than vb if the input is greater than vb then output is tracing the input output is tracing the input listen my words carefully if the input is greater than vb see this is the input waveform right this is the input dotted is the input waveform if dotted waveform if it crosses vb then output will follow input means output if input is great they say if it is greater than this point anything after this if anything value is there then output should follow input means they should be linear if input is greater than vb output output should follow input if output follows input means it's a linear graph then if input if input is below this vb then what it is doing it is following simply vb it is not tracing this bottom part yes or no if input is below vb if input is below vb then output is following simply vb so if input is less than this vb then what you need to do output will follow simply vb so the right ch the i mean sorry the right answer is below vb it will follow it will maintain as vb only as soon as input crosses vb it will follow the output i mean output will follow the input so output will be vb until input is less than vb and output will follow the input if input is greater than vb so in this way you can find the transfer characteristics of any given clipper circuit so try to memorize transfer how to find the transfer characters and how to find the output waveform if you have any doubts just give the comment in the comment box just type your uh, send your comment so that i'll be responding to those comments if you have any doubts i'll make a video once again for you and i'll clarify your doubts thank you